everybody, how's it going? So Delilah and I are headed to the park. We're getting ready to kickstart off my first in-person event for Resilient Performance Training. I am so excited. I have some people who are signed up to come and I can't wait to see them. It's gonna be an absolute memorable event and it's gonna be something I'm gonna remember and cherish forever. So I'll see you guys soon. and everybody on this beautiful trail this beautiful day it is fall the leaves are changing and we are stepping into a new chapter in our lives and it is it makes me so happy to see all of you guys here all of your beautiful faces it truly means a lot that you guys wanted to come out here and it just it just means so much to me so the reason why I started my company was because I saw a lack not only in myself but a lack in society. That lack was people not understanding and not knowing that falling down on your face hurts and it's natural, but learning how to get back up and learning that it's okay to fall down. And so my mission for my company, Resilient Performance Training, is to empower individuals to unlock their full potential not only in themselves, but to build the bodies of their dreams. And my vision for my company is to create the mindset so people can live authentic, authentically, excuse my words. And uh, my purpose is to change humanity's mindset. Now you may say, wow, Kara, that's a huge purpose, but we're doing it together. And we do that through our daily actions and through our core values. I have five core values. Number one, positivity. Have a positive mindset. It is so easy, I struggle with this too. It is so easy to go down the rabbit hole of negativity and to get lost in that negative cloud. But focusing on that positive light, on that, that light in your soul is so important. Number two, lead by example. If you want the world to change, you must change yourself. And you must do that through everyday daily action. Number three, integrity. Always do the right thing and do what you're gonna do and lead by example. And you can change not only yourself, but impact the change of the world. Number four, do the work. You have to do what's required to get to where you want to go. If you have big dreams, big work comes with it. And that is a blessing and a gift. Number five, the most important thing, the thing that touched my soul the most is resilience. Resilience, to getting back up when you've fallen down saying yes to yourself, saying yes to your soul, saying yes to your purpose. That is resilience. Now I want to share a mantra that I have written, a poem that has become something that I hold very dear to my heart. I am resilient. I rise up from the depths of the shadows to the surface where there's light. It is green. It is bliss. It is peace. Resilience is a lifestyle. It is a choice. You have the gift to become resilient. Being resilient isn't just about you, but showing all those around you what it truly means to rise up from the darkest corners of your shadows. Face yourself in the mirror and say yes to your higher self. It is that empowerment from within, that light in your soul that shines when you most need it. Light your fire. Shine that light because the world needs to see you. I am resilient. I am resilient. You have to smile when you say it because it's true. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're going to do is 
We're gonna hike down this gravel road and we're gonna, we're gonna hike on the lower part of Lolly Loop, jump onto Twin Lakes, and then finish off on the upper part of Lolly Loop. It's a really easy trail. It's wide and open. It's beautiful, perfect for dogs, perfect for people, perfect for good times. So, uh, let's have some fun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> My favorite trail to walk is Delilah, and every time I walk this trail, no matter what, no matter how I'm feeling, sad, happy, whatever the feeling is, I do at least one pull up. I stop here and do a pull up because I want to prove to myself that I can still do this. All right, so if anybody wants to do a pull up, please do. Um, you will start with Caleb here. Caleb, you can do a pull up. Let's do it. Ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Good job. Anybody else want to try? Right, I guess I'll do a pull up. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Molly's helping you. Molly. Hi, Bernie. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Right, would anybody else like to try? Get up, Michael. I'll just do one. Michael, we're going to go through the music here. Daddy, I'm not Molly. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's go to the side of the room. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Anybody else? You got it, buddy. Come on, Thanks for everybody. Uh, as a thank you for coming to my event. I want to share with you guys these cute little water bottles that I made. Aww. They have messages inside of them. Aww. So, um, I am so happy that you guys came and seeing your beautiful faces for me to walk So, if anybody wants a water bottle, you can get one. Yay! Did you get one? Pick whichever one you want. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Pick whichever one you want. Why do you have so many? Thank you. Pick whichever one you want. You're welcome. I guess I'm cute because my heart's too thick. Pick another one. Pick one for your sister. Mom, do you want? Oh, yeah, you already got one. I got one for me. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. Are you so pretty? You're so pretty.